All right, Shalom Israel. Once again, it's the brother Kalab here to the spirit to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, uh, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah. And uh, most of y'all know it as America. So we're prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom and the uplifting of our people. Y'all by Shemishai's people, the creator of the world's people, the, uh, the Israelites. Y'all by Shemishai is getting ready to exalt his people and to abase the enemy, so-called Esau Edom, who is a perpetual uh, demon that only wants to uh, uh, destroy the world by, by giving you that inoculation. Hey, but before I get started, I veered off a little. I was a spirit. Uh, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahapadash. Double honor to the apostles, the great millstone, who taught us this truth and who rule well. So I'll, this, in the spirit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 1 says, the word, the word of the Lord came unto me, son of man, set your face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So Yahweh Shem Hashai is telling us to set our face against Mount Seir, against it. And the men of the Lord are in complete opposition to this system. Uh, currently, they're trying to set up a new world order, bringing in that cashless society, and through the means of their, uh, their um, allegedly their uh, scamdemic, their, uh, so they're, they're eventually going to roll out that RFID implant to, uh, to make you uh, a perpetual slave, you know? That's, that's these rulers in the upper echelon, the elite, the Rothschilds, the Merovinches, the DuPonts, the world international banking elite, they have a plan for you. And the plan is to, to uh, ultimately inoculate you and lead you into the MOTB, which is, if you, if you read Revelation chapter 13, we can't even say it because our videos will get flagged. It says, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse two, uh, verse three says, and say unto to it, does say to how behold i'm against you mount seer so how about shim yashai is against uh this system this uh beast system this image of the beast which they're current currently trying to poison you with right they're fervently trying to back you into that corner for you to submit to the image of the beast that's that's this mount seer which is synonymous for esau edom it says and i will stretch out my hand against you and I will make you desolate and and a waste. And and that's speaking in regards to, uh, and that bell chimed in there. Uh, beautiful, you know? So yeah, that's talking about the utter destruction that Yahweh is getting ready, ready to visit the world. You know? We're in that day. Verse four, I will lay your cities waste and you shall become a desolation. And you shall know that I am Yahweh because you cherish you cherished perpetually enmity and gave over the gave over the people Israel to the power of the sword at the time of their calamity, at the time of their final punishment. So, so this damn devil Esau Edom, they uh, you know, they afflicted the nation of Israel beyond measure. You know, so Yahweh Bashem Yashai is going has a uh, what's uh, what's the word for it? Uh, righteous indignation against Mount Seir, which is synonymous for Esau Edom. Therefore, as I live, declares Yahweh God, I will prepare you for blood, and blood shall pursue you. That and that's that's also synonymous with uh, Cain and Abel, because these Edomites they stem from the line of Cain. So, in the way they uh, the way they attain this land, America was to rape, robbery, and pillaging of the of the Native American man. So, the land therefore has to be cleansed with blood. And that's about the time I'll, I'll get that scripture. Because it is defiled. So Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to require blood from Esau and Edom. Verse 5. So these Edomites, they have shed blood and they continuously shed blood of, of the nation of Israel, you know? And our people that's how our people are oppressed in this place. I'm going to grab a scripture here. Numbers 35 and 33 says, 
So ye shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defiled the land. And the, and the land, see, that's why Yahweh Shem Hashai requires blood. It says, and the land cannot be cleansed of blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So Yahweh Shem Hashai is, gonna, uh, is requiring blood of Esau Edom for all the uh, crimes against humanity. The so-called white man has perpetrated on the nation of Israel. Therefore, they thought they were going to ride off into the sunset by setting up their their world, the foundation of the world, and not to mention grabbing the apple, Yahweh Bashim Yashai's eye, so called African American man, and to Chateau slavery to build up the foundation of America, right? They thought they were just going to skate off into the sunset and not pay for that, pay for that bloodshed. But according to Numbers chapter 35 and 33, the scripture says, So ye shall not, so, so, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed for the blood. That is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So Yahweh Bashim Yashar is going to require blood. If you bear with me, I'll continue. So yeah, uh, so with so that's that great slaughter. Yahweh Bashim Yashar prepare for these two thirds. You know, two thirds of our people because because they are uh, they're elated in iniquity. They're covered. Uh, they're covered in sin, you know, like oil. Like if they're, if they was like grease or oil, our people are 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 laden with thick clay of uh, iniquity. They fall idolatry, covetousness, adultery, uh, fornication, and that's not just speaking of you know having uh, premarital sex. No, that's talking about philosophy that these people adopt, and the philosophy that these people have adopt with is uh, American culture, which is against the Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Which homosexuality is against Yahweh Bashim Yahshai the Lord. Which adultery is against Yahweh Bashim Yahshai the Lord. Covetousness is against Yahweh Bashim Yahshai the Lord. So like, uh, it's a little loud right now, but we'll get into the scripture here. I got another one prepared. I got Zechariah chapter 13 and 8 says, And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall, but the third shall be left therein. So, so Yahweh Shemashai is going has a reserved remnant, which brings me to uh, which opens up the, the door for more uh more scriptures to come out because Yah uh, so Yahweh Shemashai has a remnant that he's going to save. Which, but but to make it into that re uh, remnant, you'd have to be of the 12 tribes of Israel, which is so-called blacks, Native Americans, and African Americans, which are the apple of the Most High's eye, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai's eye, which is the name in Hebrew of the Creator, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So that's the that's the proper name that we teach our people to return back to the law, statutes, and commands, because the, until then, that's when we'll still be oppressed. But when we come back to that knowledge, the white man will not be no longer be able to oppress us. We'll come back to the power. We'll come into the good graces of God. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to stand for his people and execute vengeance upon the enemy, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which he's a cancer to the world. And he's going to be chased out of the world. And he's getting ready to go into utter slavery. Look at what, well, who's, trying to, who's trying to give you a, a concoction of, of chemicals and force you into a corner where you're no longer going to be able to work unless you have it? And or and or by food. That's that's the devil. He saw evil. So that's and our people are related with iniquity. They they pray to sort says our Barcia. Let's let's go into one that's gonna be real good for you. KGV. I got a scripture here. Jer Jeremiah chapter 10 and 2 says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, seeing our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they, they want to go around kissing the white man's ass instead of, in, instead of uh, seeking their own problems in their own community. They want, they want to be uh, they want to be submissive to the so-called white man, but while the so-called white man has us bent over backwards, but God Bashim Yashai is going to uh, redeem us and uh, execute 
uh, execute righteous indignation, which, which, which can only be cleansed through blood. But we don't want reparations. We want what Yahweh Bashim Yashai is promising to let the children of Israel. Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to uh, commit, uh, he's going to uh, recompense wickedness with blood. And so called white man is the next up for judgment. We are in a paradigm shift. Yahweh Bashim Yashai is doing good on his promise. And we're living in a beautiful time to see the downfall of our e our enemy, which is Esau Edom, which is his his uh, his uh, his world is being abased. But in an act of desperation, right, he seeks to to uh, to acquire to retain his rulership by lying to the world and giving you a uh, some type uh, some inoculation that is that they're selling to you as if it's convenient for you. When has the white man given you anything that's convenient for you? How about those trail of tears? How about Black Wall Street? How about the Native American genocide? How about the trail of tears? How about all those things? Do you think you want to take something from this devil? I don't think so. So we're going to stand on our faith. We're going to stand in how about Shimei shot and not lean upon our own understanding and not lean upon so-called white man Esau, him, which is the devil, clearly. And let me let's read it to a scripture, which is a son of perdition. <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter three and ten says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that there shall not come except there be a fallen away for first, and that that man of son be a son that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition well by the by the mouth of the prophets we're slaying this damn devil we're exposing his wickedness that he's trying to impose on the world his unrighteousness he's unfit to rule y'all by shimmy shai is deemed so-called white man which is currently in rulership we accept that y'all by shimmy shai is declared he's unfit to rule so we're not allowed we're not letting no man deceive us the scripture says, hold on to eternal life. Let no man deceive you and no, let no man steal your crown. Watch, I got some. So we're in a time to build our faith in the promise of Yahweh Bashim Yashai that he's going to exalt his nation. You Hispanic, uh, Native Americans, uh, Latinos and African Americans, you are the true biblical Israelites and redemption and salvation is only for you. All the other heathen nations will perish. In this first go around of a, a major sweep, a major sweep that Yahweh Shem is going to deliver to the world. <coughs> Salak. I got it right here. Revelation chapter 3 and 11 says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that thou fast which thou hast, that no man take that crown. Hey, don't let fear, don't let this uh, this devil back you up into a corner and have you submit to the image of the beast. That's what will happen. Yes, you know what? They're trying to submit you into a corner by taking away your resources, your livelihood, to get you to take that juice, and, and ultimately that's going to lead to your death demise. That's that, multi that's that great multitude that's going to perish here very shortly. Because you... If you took that, you're on a perpetual decline to a to a casket, right? It says, "Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall no more go out. Go out. I will write upon him the name of Yahweh and the name of my city, my God, which is New Jerusalem, and and the name uh, New Jerusalem that represents the king and that represents the Israelites, that represents the elect, which cometh down out of heaven." Was that's the holy city? And I will write upon him my new name, that he hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, and the church. And that's a beautiful scripture because we're all, we're all a body. Hamashiach Yahushua has made us a body unto him that we all. And and nine out of ten times we're all speaking the same. We're all speaking the same thing because we're all operating in one frequency, and that frequency is the gospel of Yahushua Shimei Yahushua. Um. So we're gonna fight for that crown. Lay. And these are some of my favorite scriptures here as well. Because that's what we're doing by making our bodies living sacrifices. We're doing this. 
1 Timothy chapter 6 and 12, it says, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee, char I give thee charge in the sight of Yahweh, who quickeneth all things before her my shot guy was shy. So, so like I went too far, but so we're in that work we're uh to to gird up our loins as soldiers for Hamashiach was shot and endure the hour of temptation. What's that what do they want they want to back you up into a corner and give you that juice work, right? See how Bashimasha has a reward for us men that endure temptation. Revelations chapter and what's the temptation? What's the temptation that everybody in this thing, everybody in this world is going to face? And you better hope that your lineage stems from this chart here, or else you're going to go into utter destruction if you're not of the nation of Israel, which is you black. Is, this has got to be from your uh, the your uh, father's bloodline, your Spanish, Native Americans, African Americans, which which the Israelites are dispersed in all nations. So you're going to have Israelites that look like so-called white people. Asians, etc. Right, but since we're fighting this temptation, that's going to be prepared for the whole world, which is that MOTB, right? That RFID, you know, that you not that that boost work, that boost mobile, that they want to give everybody and over and over again forever. Revelations chapter three and ten says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." It's, it says, Behold, I come quickly, hold fast, which thou hast, have no man take thy crown, him that overcometh. All right, we got that one. So these are these times that we're in. Yep, so that's that's that right there. Uh, 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 so, so we're holding on to this word. We're holding on to this truth. And we're putting out, we're extinguishing these lies, these lies that uh, Esau Edom has uh, has infected the world with by the by the mouth of the prophet prophets, because we're exposing this devil for his wickedness. You know, we prophesy against Mount Seir. You know, our, our words have gone past past the nobles. John eight and thirty two. It says, "And ye shall know the truth." And the truth shall make you free. So, yep, that's just that's just that's the red letter. So, what's this true? The gospel of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh Bashiach Shai is going to deliver uh, vengeance. That Yahweh Bashiach Shai, if we trust in Him, He's going to uh, withhold us. And then also, we're going to be uh, persecuted in these times. So a lot of times we don't have to think of what we're going to say when we come out to the highways and byways. Here's an example. Matthew 5 and 7. Matthew 5 and 17 says, Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not to come to destroy, but to fulfill. It says, For verily I say unto you, To the, have, to the heaven and earth pass, and one jot or tittle shall not, no wise pass from the law till it be fulfilled. So like I, I veered off from the lesson there, but this is being to regards to the uh, the commandments, you know, because you got a lot of false prophets out here that like the Christian church, right? <laughs> they they uh, tell you that it's okay to eat pork. They tell you it's okay to shave your beard. Well, those are all uh, commandments that, are, that are, people are breaking continuously. Then they also sell you, they, they fashion this world to get you to, uh, to break the statutes and commandments, so that's how that's why we know how we know that this place is is wicked, you know. All right, so I'm just gonna continue on with the lesson um, and keep praising, praising, praising uh, the Holy Father. Because that's what that's what the elect is set to do is to praise the Lord. There's, Psalms chap uh, chapter 50, verse 1, it says, Praise ye the Lord, praise Yahweh in his sanctuary, praise him 
in the ferment of his power. Praise, praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the excellent, excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound and trumpet. Praise him with, with falsies and harps, uh, harps, that's instruments. Praise him with the timbre and dance, instruments and dance. Praise him with strength instruments and organs. Praise him upon the, the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath a praise to the Lord. Praise Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And we know, and this is why we commit ourselves to come out and present ourselves a living sacrifice that Yahweh Bashim El Shai may find, uh, find our sacrifice deemed worthy to escape the set perils that Yahweh Bashim is going to render upon the world. And y'all going to be in a very, very pitiful case. You, you know what I mean? It's written into a scripture here. Seek, seek ye. Actually, we can go with this one too. So, a good thing too also in regards to the man of the Lord. You know, a lot of things, a lot of things that get, that make us stumble is, you know, women, lust, uh, things that are pleasing to the eye. But y'all about, you know, to, 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 to walk, uh, walk more cir circumspectly in his truth. Uh, Matthew chapter 6 and 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall at, be added unto you. So regardless, you can go chase whatever you want, but if you're chasing Yahweh by Shimei al Shai, you're going to get this all these things anyways. And when we fall away, we're supposed to seek him ten times more falling away you know when we get lackadaisical when we err in the flesh when we fall short we all fall short but not to sell spirit of of weakness but to exhort brethren uh, well the scripture says a just man falls seven times uh, a righteous man falls seven times you know roughly saying that you're gonna fall in this truth baruch 4 and 28 says so this is uh like an exhortment to our brethren it says baruch chapter 4 and 28 says for, for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being retur returned, seek him ten times more. And this is, uh, you know, I honestly, Satan and, and elements and all, you know, it's ultimately Satan, you know, you know, wanted to hinder me to come out. But I wanted to speak, you know, I just want to speak, you know, and speak, speak truth, you know, because that's what the, the elect is going to do. Y'all about Shimon Shai has set uh Y'all about Shimon Shai reserve seven thousand men that are not gonna bow down to this image. First Kings 1918. So there's certain men that how about Shimon Shai from the foundation of the earth did not create us to do this. To not, create us not to take that juice box. Create us not to take that the the C Ragma. Right, First Kings chapter nineteen and eighteen says, "Yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel, all all the knees which have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth which not, which that has not kissed the sun." I don't watch this all world that of that great number, you know, the counting of the elect, those men that stood so firm, you know, to receive that crown, you know. It's really to another scripture here through the Spirit. It says. Um, uh, what's the, it's the one where it says we're to uh, we're to seek our own salvation. We're supposed to fight for our own salvation. Seek our own. So we can't. So things you know happen. You know in between uh, brothers and all that, we can't get discouraged from. Regardless of what happens, we got to get back up and keep continue fighting because we know Satan is always trying to prevent us from preaching this gospel of Hamashiach Yahushai. Oh, got you. So we're to work out our, this is the one I want us to say. Philippians 2 and 12 says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. A, this is what we're doing right now. We're like Noah being moved with fear. You know, he prepared an ark as commanded by Yahweh Shem Yashai. So we're commanded to come out on the highways and byways. And we are building a spiritual ark. 
so we're seeking out our our own salvation. Let me read it one more time, just for the get this juices pumping. Philipp, Philippians chapter two and twelve says, "Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling." So that's what we're doing. And that's, I wanted to read it because it, when I read it the first time, it reminded me of certain scripture. Seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. This is not, I just got one to the spirit, uh, spirit right here. Fear, fear is the it, fear is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. So we can't get we can't get on that path uh, to salvation without wisdom or knowledge. Psalms chapter nine and ten says. Fear the Lord, fear the Lord is it fear, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of only of holy understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and understanding. Hey, so these highways and byways, man, no joke. Um, <clears throat> let me grab, let me grab a scripture to the spirit because I was trying to meditate on it it's bugging me that i can't think of the scripture that i was meditating but i'll i'll grab it and that'll be my sacrifice for this evening it seems like things are dying down out here um all right i just have to this is gonna have to let the spirit spirit change i just like man All right, so I'm just gonna grab one to the spirit, give, give, uh, pray, and give thanks because you know what? That's what we need in these times, and we need Yahweh Shemir Shot in our corner right now. Uh, pray. Let's do this one. Uh, Sirach 43 and 30 says, When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as, as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed and we and when ye exalt him put forth all your strength and be not weary for you can never go far enough and we can never go far enough to praise y'all by shim yashad which is the creator of the heavens what's that oh yeah for sure man for sure yeah so uh you know we're right here out, in, out here out in the open prophesying the downfall of america and teaching our our people repentance repentance to uh that they may serve y'all by seeing y'all shy before utter destruction, you know, and, and and exhorting our brethren to to endure in this fight because we're in the continuous fight because of that hour and temptation. You can read that in that in uh, Revelations chapter three and eleven, which is that hour of temptation that we're all going to face. But since well, I'm gonna just get it one last time since you're here. This is a, a really good a one for faith boosting role because you know that regardless of what believe right we're preaching the word of y'all about you know, we're going to be tempted to have to take something and this is what we have to hold fast i'm going to break it down right now revelation chapter 3 and 11 says behold i says behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no that no man take thy crown all right that first that first scripture is talking about hold thou fast which thou hast what do we have we have this truth of the because this uh this word is not given to all men all men can't receive 
that these people are on the sign of their true Israelites. Most men can't receive that you about Shemesh a so-called black man. Most men can't receive that we're going to have slaves in the kingdom. Most men can't receive that the kingdom is promised to the nation of Israel. Most men can't receive who the Israelites are now in this modern times, right? So that's what we're holding on to. And we're holding on to our faith in Yahweh Shemesh Shai, knowing that he's going to hold our hand through all these through all these perils that we're going to face. That's our that's our trust because we have a crown. The, the nation of Israel, uh, predominantly the elect, moreover, has a uh, has a promise uh, of everlasting. The names are written in the book of life. It says, verse twelve says, "Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in my temple of God." You know, that's in the kingdom. Yahweh Shai, the, the tabernacles of David, the the new Jerusalem, the holy city. Yahweh Shai is going to give us sovereignty, going to give us rights to the land, going to give us dominion which we've never had before because we are the sovereign these are the sovereign people on this chart that were given the promises which moses sprinkled the blood on the children of israel which you can get that in the book of Deuteronomy, right they were sprinkled with the blood and given the promise and this is all playing back into these times right now we're coming back to to the albashi and shot the courses because we're like it's like if you were born in the middle of a movie well guess what you just you just real we we're just realized and born that we're in the time, if this was a movie, we're in the time, we're getting to the part where all this shit is getting ready to fucking unfold. All this destruction, all this wickedness with Esau, Edom, his, uh, his, he, uh, was, there's a word for it, insurrection. He's going to insurrect on the people. He's going to take away this Bible. He's gonna take, he's gonna, he wants to take away faith from the earth. He, Esau, Edom wants to exalt himself as God. He wants to play God, control world. I mean, go ahead, Rika, speak. Or no, I mean, I'll end up talking to you, you know? Got you. Let, let me, so let me finish out the scripture because I was already going to finish. And then, I'll, uh, so that last scripture is <coughs> Revelation chapter 3 and 12. It says, him that, and this is speaking to like the, the elect Israelite man. Him that overcometh will I make a, a pillar in the temple of my God and he shall go no more out and I'll write upon him the name of my God and the name of my city of my God which is New Jerusalem which cometh down and New Jerusalem you know how about it's his good pleasure to give us the king and it's already prepared for us it's already written which cometh down out of heaven from Yahweh and I and I will write upon him my new name all right so I don't this this thing speed up speeds up well, we know through the spirit it's going to speed up because the scripture says for the elect state for the elect uh roughly paraphrase for the elect sake i will short shorten these days which is these these days that we're getting into which is jacob's trouble hey so with that i exhort you brethren uh i exhort the brethren out there to to continue in the faith giving all honor and glory to yahweh kala bashim yahweh shai bashim rahakwadash double the honors to the apostle the great millstone who taught his truth and who ruled well a humble citation to the hopeful elect, pushing his work and truth and sincerity. I say Shalom.